walk through tour and review of the Bahia Principe Grand Tulum in Riviera Maya, Mexico. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So we are doing one of my walkthrough and review videos so you know where you're headed before you even get to the resort. So please make sure you subscribe and like to the channel. I have so much more content coming from you and also the food video of the Bahia Principe Grand Saloon. So I always start all of my videos at the front, main entrance, main lobby. So that way, as soon as you get here, you know where you're going. As you can see, the lobby area is a big circle. Now we could go to the right, we could go straight, which you see that there's a walkway right there. And then we could go to the left. So for this video, we are going to actually start with the left. Then we're going to go into the middle and then we're going to go into the right. We're starting with the left because the left has some key things that will obviously be important for your trip, but it's not going to, um, there's not as much things there as opposed to the middle and the right. So the left, there is still some important things. There's also rooms and stuff on the left-hand side, but again, it's not as in detailed as the middle and to the right. But to the left, you will see that we just passed by one store, and here is where you will find a lot of all of the stores basically you will also find the gym you will also find um you know some restrooms if you're hanging out at the front desk that you know you need to use the restroom they're over there as well if you forgot anything these shops here have literally everything beachwear sunblock um bags shoes so many different things um you know it is a little bit more on the pricier side there is actually a huge shopping mall on the compound which i am doing a separate video for that has real local products with better prices so make sure you are subscribed because i am going to be doing that video alongside the food video you can see on the left here though there is actually sh some dishes there so they do serve food throughout the resort which i did like that here at the grand tulum at bahia principe acumal i also was there they don't have that where they just kind of serve um you know some food outside of where the restaurants are and the cafe so i really like that so here is the main point of what i wanted to come to and that is don pablo specialty dining um restaurant which was the best meal i had throughout my entire stay and then here is where you will find the main buffet for breakfast lunch and dinner and again, the Don Pablo, I am going to be going extensively in the food video, so make sure you stay for that. So now we went back to the main lobby and we went to that middle walkway. Now this is going to bring us to the main activity point of the resort, as you can see. This is where the main pools are. There's the um, pool bars here. Obviously, you can see all the seats and everything else. The weather was a little um, cloudy that day. It did not rain, it was just super cloudy, but it allowed for everyone to kind of just be able to sit into these seats and hang out without getting really hot and wanting to just be on a beach chair and jumping in the pool. It also did help my videoing. You could see here that there is a pool bar also right there as well. So if you're not in the pool, but you wanna get drinks, you absolutely can. And there is, you know, wait staff as well. So don't think, you know, like you have to get up every single time. Um, but, you know, when they're not around, it's just convenient. And also that's open at night. So all of those chairs that you saw them sitting at, um, at nighttime, those are a great place to hang out and be able to get cocktails and stuff as well. There is definitely a bunch of stuff going on at night that, um, you know, you can enjoy. So as you see here, all of the beach chairs, everything else. This is like a tri-layer, I want to say. There's definitely, um, you know, as you can see, some steps. They do have a ramp if, you know, you have anyone in your party that is um, wheelchair bound. They absolutely are um, equipped for all of that. Main entrance here as well, everything, which was really nice. 
and you could see here that there's like a little shop where you can buy floaties and stuff like that a lot of people were using them and now this is the main kind of pool area you could see the pool bar right there as well and um, this is where they do a lot of the activities you'll see that there's a bunch of people in the center they were doing like water aerobics and stuff which was pretty cool um, and then as we're continuing this is where you would hit the beach now to the right you will see it in just a second there is also a beach snack bar and that i really thought was great because it is so large in this area there's so many people so this is just a great way to not have to leave the pool and still be able to eat something throughout the day and not have to run to the buffet you know unless you wanted something a little bit more but this i thought was really nice so here is the beach it's a full you know beach it has the volleyball it has the chairs and the umbrellas again unfortunately the weather that day you know as you could see it was cloudy it wasn't raining but everyone was still enjoying their vacation and um just one thing i really want to say about the ocean guys and i say this in every video because if i could help and save one person i will um wait quickly there's another food stall <laughs> Um, so if I could just help and save one person, I will. The ocean is sometimes not safe. The resort will put flags on the beach, a yellow flag, a green flag, or a red flag. If it is a red flag kind of day, guys, do not go swimming. Unfortunately, last year at another resort that I was touring, there was an accident. And since that day, I have made it kind of... A mission to make sure I say that in every single one of my videos so you can see to the left there's a little um, bridge so they do have bridges all throughout the pools so you don't have to go all the way do this full walk through that I am doing but this is obviously for the purpose of the video and so you guys can kind of get again that 360 um, view of everything that uh, there is to offer all around you know without having to do this full walkthrough i guess if you didn't want to right um these birds were absolutely crazy they will be here all the time they eat out of the garbages <laughs> um but you know it's still nice to kind of see them so now we went all the way around we passed um the birds and the garbage and we are going now toward back to the resort and now this is where you are going to hit the spa which is right here and then also there is another specialty dining down there as well and it is the indian restaurant so with all of the restaurants you do have to make reservations for um, i will be going through that with the food tour you also as you saw in front of us you are able to book excursions there's a lot of places that are posted up in the resort to where you can book your excursions so definitely uh you know don't think that you're going to miss out at any point they are always here um you know ready to help you book your excursions so now we are back at the main lobby and we are now going to be going toward the right like i had explained in the beginning of the video so right here as soon as we get out of the main lobby to the left of us is where the nightly entertainment is and also another bar a lot of people were sitting there um, you know they sit there during the day i did too there's coffee and teas readily available and a full bar to the right is more stores there's a ray-ban store a jewelry store um, you know, and another place where you can book tours. And then there's also another place where you could get any timeshares if that's something that you're interested in. So to the left is still the main theater. That's the entrance right there. And then that walkway to the left would bring you to some rooms and the pool. We are gonna hook a right though, and this is gonna take us on the walkway through all of the other rooms to the Delfinaris, where you can go and swim with the dolphins. There is another kids section, well not another, but then there is the kids section where there is a mini water park. There is more food there, bars and other stuff to enjoy if you didn't wanna come all the way back to this main section, even though there is trolleys. So right now I just continued onto that path 
and here you will see signs all throughout the resort where things are there's also sign you know what building numbers everything is so it's not very hard to get lost it's just knowing where everything is and then also doing the trek <laughs> it was really tiring i'm not gonna lie at one point i'm like oh my god where are these dolphins <laughs> and this other section and uh, you could see that there were some trolleys that just passed us i did feel like the trolleys took forever by the time i was waiting i just started walking because it just really um you know for me what was the point of waiting i could just continue walking so as you see, we finally came up to the area that I was um, mentioning. So here is another pool. It is a very good size, beach chairs, um, the umbrellas. And then to the left is this little mini kids water park, which, you know, was super cute. Definitely when you're traveling with family, you definitely have something to keep the kids occupied and entertained so again the food video is coming guys but there is another snack bar there as well with chicken fingers uh, chicken wings quesadillas tacos and the food quality at the bahia principe grand tulum is actually um very good i was pleasantly happy about everything that i ate at the um grand tulum and also at principe acumal so we finally made it to the dolphins they were so absolutely cute um at first i only saw the one pool i got a little sad that they didn't have so much space but there is a second pool to the left to where they do have a little bit more swimming area now right you go right past them you will get to the beach again and this beach on this side also fully equipped with sunbeds umbrellas there's a bar not too far away from here as well. So you guys really have at any point on this resort, great access to everything that you would need. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and share, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.